in this first video here, I am painting my B1 battle droids from the Star Wars Legion Clone Wars starter kit? Starter, starters? From the Star Wars Legion Clone Wars corset. There we go, that's the word I was looking for, corset. Hi, my name is Jacob and welcome to Wandering XP. I've only been painting since September, but watching people on YouTube like Sorestro's Guides has been very, very inspiring to get into this hobby. And so I wanted to make this video series where this isn't really so much of a tutorial as it's more of just me archiving how I paint my minis. And if you find this video helpful, that's great. Uh, but if you don't, and if you just find it entertaining, that's great too. Let's get into painting the B1 battle droids. So how I like to prime my models is by using an airbrush to apply a zenithal highlight. And I start off by spraying on a complete layer of black primer. Once that layer is dried, I then swap out my colors, swap out my primer from the black to a uh, Vallejo gray, which I've noticed that the Vallejo gray, at least in, from what I've seen, I don't know if my bottle is defective or not, but the, <laughs> But my Vallejo gray comes off as more of a off-white color than it does a gray. So I guess that works. So the next step in the process is to apply the base coat on the B1 battle droids. And following Sorestro's guide, I too stick with a one-to-one -one mixture of uh, Citadel's Contrast, Agras Dunes, and Skeleton Horde. And just to let you know, I paint all the content on this channel over on my Twitch channel. So if you're interested in coming by and hanging out and checking out a little bit more of the work in detail, and as it's progressing in real time, you're more than welcome to come by there. Link will be down in the description. And one of the things that you can use is the Citadel uh, Technical Contrast Medium to help kind of soak up a way, soak up some of that additional color. This is something that Sorestro does in, in his guide. I attempted to do that, but I kind of, I kind of failed at it because I started pulling up too much of the actual color, but it's definitely something that I want to uh, practice with a little bit more to get a much smoother finish on my droids. I think I might have to try that on some other droids next time because I I started I kind of started doing that a little bit and then realized realized that I was pulling up way too much paint and then I was having trouble finding that happy medium. It's something that I need to practice and something that I need to kind of get a little bit better at is working with that contrast medium. Next, for painting the weapons, I used Black Templar. So the next step up is the highlighting step. The paint I used for the dry brushing step and the highlighting step was Army Painter's Arid Earth. The approach that I, I chose to use was using a dry brushing technique.
And since I'm already in the middle of doing dry brushing, uh, I, it, I felt like it was time to go in and do a bit of weathering on the, with the weapons. And what I used is Vallejo's Model Air Metallic range, their steel color. Next up, I did a bit of detailing and uh, just personalized some of the units. So some of the special uh, specialist units, I decided to give uh, different colored accents to. So for the squad leaders, I gave the cannon yellow uh, head marking and the gold uh, yellow circle on their chest plate. weapons guy I kind of gave I decided to give the red security droid uh, accents where you paint a bit of red shoulder So I decided to do something a little bit different and just kind of do my own little fun flair to it. And I just took a green and uh, painted some different accents of green on the arms and the legs and on the backpack, just to kind of distinguish the different roles of the unit from each other. Next up is the basing. The first time that I've ever done basing. And it's been so much fun to do this. Um, I definitely want to get into a little bit more terrain work now after having uh, played around with the basing for these droids. It was so much fun. For the basing, I used Vallejo Earth Texture Dark Earth and just took a brush and just globbed it on to the base, smoothed it out a little bit so it's not too thick. And then, um, and then I took some cork rocks and then some other terrain decorations to put on little rocks and bigger boulders. So I realized that the earth texture takes quite a while to dry. So I let it set and came back the next day and used Agrax Earth Shade to just wash down all of the bases. And then, after letting the wash dry, I went back with Army Painter's Stone Golem and just dry brushed in a light highlight over all the bases. So after letting the whole piece dry, I went in, glued in a couple of bushes, and then painted the ring around the bases a solid black color to give it a little bit more uniformity and make it look nice. And then, there we go. Finished battle droid. And there we have my very first squad of miniatures ever painted. <laughs> I've done some mini painting before, but it was only ever just like one or two models kind of like here and there. And this is my first group. This is my first squad of miniatures from a game 
that I have painted up and I'm so happy uh, about finally being able to do this. This is a hobby that I've always wanted to get into, but I've, I've, there's always been a, a, some barrier to entry that I just couldn't get into it. Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to share your own artwork. I'd love to see it. Anyway, have a great one.